Stacey Abrams versus Governor Kemp in Georgia. Why? Why is this race so interesting? A couple of reasons. First of all, Stacey Abrams is a bad politician, but moreover, Stacey Abrams is a bad person. She She's like bananas crazy. This woman thinks that a heartbeat of an unborn child isn't a heartbeat. She called it a pulse, an electrical pulse. She's she's grotesque. She thinks, she, she refused to concede the election in 2018. She actually thinks that there's suppression, voter suppression happening just because what, a Republican is running in Georgia? Stacey Abrams is, is, is not just isolated in her terribleness. Abrams is what the left wants the future of their party to be. And so the reason why I, I'm so interested in this race is not only because I don't want the woman who sat in front of a bunch of children wearing masks while she was not wearing a mask and then used, had the audacity to post that picture on social media to try to make it seem like she related to the kids. She was an advocate for the schools. It's not that I just don't want her in, in the governor's mansion, which I don't. It's also because there's an enormous disconnect between the elitists who are the elected representatives in the Democratic Party and the voters. There are issues that the Democratic voters support that the Democratic politicians oppose, like school choice is a good example of that, or late-term abortion. Those are, those are issues that the Democrat politicians are actually at odd with their, odds with their own constituency. And this is coming to a head in the Democratic Party. Stacey Abrams is a good example of it because I don't know if Democratic voters actually want her. She, she lost already to Brian Kemp, but I'm interested in 2018, I should say, but I'm interested to see is that going to happen again? And if it is, I don't think the Democratic Party will learn their lesson per se, because it's not that they're trying to be smart politicians, it's that they're trying to impose Marxism on us. They're trying to subvert our country from within. They're trying to destroy our, our government and our, our citizenry. But it will be interesting to see if the American people have maybe not been, maybe even the Democratic voters have not been conditioned enough to accept such a radical candidate. So Stacey Abrams versus Brian Kemp. And just to be fun about the predictions, I think Kemp is going to win. I think Stacey Abrams is going to lose. Stacey Abrams wants to be president. She wants to be the next leader of the Democratic Party. She wants to be the next Barack Obama. I think she's going to lose. 